Elevate TV, Advancing Kingdom Lifestyle. We have seen your hand. We have seen your glory. We have seen your power. Lord, you have favored us. You have stood by us. When the enemies rose against us this year, you are there to defend us. You have been our refuge. You have been our fortress. You have been our buckler. Lord, we run to you every other time. And you have never disappointed us. That is why we say thank you. That is why we love on you, Daddy. That is why we worship your name that is why we lift your name above every other name because we know in that name there is power to heal there is power to save there is power to redeem there is power to resurrect things which are dead in our lives and that is why we say thank you for your name thank you for the power in that name thank you Jesus we bless your name we worship you Lord Shatara bagandere bo 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 sentere ba 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 rika zagandara ba 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 lebre magandere ba ba reke zagandere ba 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 libra masayanta reke zagandere riba ba ba reke zagandere ba ba lebre masayanta ra ba ba rasayanta ra ba ba rebe sayantere ba 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 rika zayanta ra ba 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 rebe be 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 rika zagandere ba ba. Raka Santa Rababo. Ah, Lord, we say thank you. We cannot say thank you enough. Ah, we worship you, Lord. Santa Rababa, Baba, 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 Oh, we worship you, Jesus. I wish you could understand. If it was not for the Lord, if it was not for the Lord, if it was not for the Lord who was on our side, the enemy would have devoured some of us. But the Lord, the Lord stood beside us as a strong tower, as our buckler. Yes, when our backs were against the wall, he came and rescued some of us during this year. And we know he's opening new doors, effectual doors. In this coming year, we just want to say thank you, Lord. We may not have seen it yet, but we know you are doing a new thing. You are doing a new thing in this coming year. You are doing a new thing. It is a new dispensation. It is a new beginning. Oh, yes, sir. We are going into uncharted waters because of you, Lord. And we've come to say thank you. Be of your anything else before we say anything else uh, we just want to say thank you because we know you can never disappoint us uh, you can never let us down uh, our husbands and wives may let us down uh, our mothers and fathers may let us down uh, but you Lord uh, you Lord uh, we have tested you and we've proven that Lord uh, you are faithful to the end uh, that is why we say thank you that is why we worship you that is why we adore you we know lord you are faithful to the end you are the unchanging change nothing moves you nothing changes you the economy does not affect you our feelings do not impact you you are god you are god all by yourself there is no argument about it we know that lord you never change and that is why we've come to say thank you thank you daddy thank you abba father Ah Sakatara baba baba sentire baba baba Libra masayantara baba 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 bo 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 Riba kayantara baba 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 Rigandere bo 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 sheke yentere baba 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 Reke sentire baba 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 Raba sayantara baba 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 Listen, go, go to the book of Psalms, chapter 100. I know we know this verse, Psalm 100, the book of Psalm 100. 
The Bible says, make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Hold it there. Hold it in verse 3. Know that the Lord, he is God. Why is he God? It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. That tells me that there's nothing I can do to influence God. It is God. Whether I pray or I don't pray, it remains to be God. But what I know from that verse and that we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Oh yes, as a good shepherd, he can never lead me astray. That is why I seek his face daily. I am a sheep of his pasture. I don't know about you but as a sheep I follow the instructions of the shepherd and if the shepherd tells me to pray I will pray if the shepherd tells me to sing I will sing because he knows that which is good for me I've come to realize that in this life you may think you know but when you meet the good shepherd you realize that you know nothing and that is why I urge you somebody worship on this good shepherd love on this good shepherd Shepherd, yes, as a sheep, may you hear the voice of the shepherd. He's calling on you today. He's saying, Give thanksgiving. He's saying, Pray without ceasing. He's saying, Love on the Father. He's saying, Seek his face. Oh, yes, Rapa Shatarababo, Rebekendere Bababa, Libra Masayan Tarababo, Reshayan Terebababa, Rika Sayan Tarababa, Rezen Tere. Ba, 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 ba. We bless you, Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We know, my God, that you are a good leader. You can never lead us astray. Our the people in this earth may lead us astray, but you, God, you will never lead us astray. No one has followed you. We bless your name, Redeemer. We give you praise, King of Glory. Ah, Somebody just pray in tongues, pray in tongues. Pray in the language of the Holy Ghost. Rika Zaganda Rababo Sentere Baba. Libereka Terebo Santa. Rekerebo Santa Raba. Riba Santa Rabo. Rebe Rebe. Riba Baba Sentere Baba. Rika Zaganda Rababo. Lebre Maganda. Reke Zenderebo. Libra Masanta Rabo. Rebe Rabakanda. Raka Zandaga. Raka Zandaga. Raka Zagada. Yes, Lord. Resetere bababa, riba kantara babo, rebe zantara ba. Yeah, zantara bababo. Rekeze gede, riba zantara bababa. Ah, Lord, we give you thanks. Oh, we give you thanks, Lord. We have seen your hand. We have seen your mercy. We have seen your power. We have seen your glory. We have seen your blessings. We have seen your move. Yes, Lord. Ah. Rebebe Rabagande. Libra Mazanda Regonde Rebaganda Rabasayanta. Lord, we know, we know, we know. We know, Lord, we know, we know, we know. We know that you can never fail us. We know that you've always been here. We know that you've always loved us. We know that you've always cared. We know, Lord, we know. And so we've just come to say thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. Ah. In the, in the in the book of first chronicles first chronicles um, 16 
16 uh, from verse 34 uh, I think yes the Bible says oh give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his mercy endures forever give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his mercy endures forever go to Psalm 107 from verse 1 it repeats here the same thing oh give thanks to the Lord for his good for his mercy endure forever go to verse 2 let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy verse 3 and gathered out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. You are the redeemed of the Lord. You are the redeemed of the Lord. He has gathered you from the east, from the west, from the north and to the south. And you are here in the apostolic house. The Bible says, give thanks to the Lord. He is good. He is good. His mercy endures forever. His blessings are without repentance. If he says yes, nobody can say no. If he opens a door, nobody can shut that door. If he gains a connection, nobody can stop it. Give thanks to the Lord, somebody. Give thanks to the Lord. Lord, we know you are good. Your mercy endures forever. Your grace is sufficient in all our insufficiencies. Oh, Lord, we give thanks to you. We thank you for your mercy that endures forever. Your mercy can never be shortchanged. Your mercy is not affected by the economic situation of the nation. Your mercy is not affected by the connections that we have. It is not about whom we know in the government. It is not about our family name. It is about your mercy that endures forever. Ah, we bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We adore you. Your mercy endures forever. Even in our weakness, Lord, you still remain merciful. In our sinful nature, you still remain merciful. When we have fallen apart and away from you, Lord, you still remain merciful. In 2023, Lord, when we are our Shout to the Lord, somebody. Yes, Lord. You are good in all circumstances. You are good in all ways. You are good in every situation. You are good in every atmosphere. You are good, Lord. We know you are good. Santa Your mass is on new. Oh yes, Lord. I we pray, Lord, that your grace and mercy may be multiplied. Not just today, but even in the days to come. That your grace may carry us and your mercy may be with us. Your favor may abound and your blessings be showered upon us. Because we know you are good and all good and perfect gifts emanate from you, Lord. We worship you, King of Glory. We adore you, Redeemer. We worship you, Jesus. Ah, just slap on him, just slap on him. Just slap on him, just slap on him. 
It is never enough. You can never have enough of him. Yes, the more you love him, the more you want to love him more. You can never have enough of him. Just love on him. Liba Santa Rabababo, Rese Tereba Baba Baba Baba, Ganda Baba Baba Baba, Seke Yen Tereba Baba Baba. We worship you, Jesus. We adore you, Lord. We exalt you, King of Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Santa Baba 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 Baba. Even as we invite the worship team, we want to invite all those who are watching us online. Please make sure you tune in to Elevate TV on Facebook and on YouTube. We are live on all these channels, all social media handles of Elevate TV and Live Church International. Let's welcome the worship team even as we continue to just love on the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I just want us to, you know, continue in that mood and just bless the name of the Lord because the Lord has been good in our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Why don't we all lift our hands before God and just tell your soul, bless the name of the Lord. Bless his holy name for he has done marvelous and great things. Oh Lord, you have been good. You have been merciful. I honor you this evening, oh God. I thank you for your grace. Thank you, Father. I bless your name. Oh God, you have been gracious. I worship you. I lift my hands, oh Lord, as an evening sacrifice. Be exalted, oh God. Be magnified. Be exalted, oh God, and be magnified. Be exalted, oh God, and be magnified. Oh Lord, you are good. You are good. You are good. Oh Ramana na na maya na na maye. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Ye kana mahane ne ne ma. Oh, ta na 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 ma. Shele le 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 ba ya na na na. Father, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Come on, just keep worshiping the name of the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh, lift up your eyes to the Lord. Open your heart to the Lord. Worship the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, you are good. I lift up my eyes to you. I open my mouth to you. Oh, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Yeah. 
you move the mountains and we believe uh -huh. we'll see you do it again you've made a way where there was no way and we believe 2024 we'll see you do it again uh -huh. we've seen you move And we believe we'll see you do it again. You made a way where there was no way. And we believe we'll see you do it again. Your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness. Your faithfulness We're still in your hands This is our confidence You've never failed us yet Your promise still stands Great is your faithfulness Declare with me Your faithfulness
midnight hour God's gonna turn it around It's gonna work in your favor Hey! Oh, no, no, in a few minutes Late in the midnight hour God's gonna turn it around It's gonna work in your favor Hey! Come on, turn to your neighbor and say Late in the midnight hour
is he come on everybody lift your voice and say ascribe ascribe greatness to the lord our god his work is perfect and all his ways are just come on lift your voice and say ascribe ascribe greatness to Is perfect. Work is perfect and all his ways are just because he is a God of faithfulness without injustice. Good and upright is he. of his throne are righteousness and justice the foundations of the Lord's throne are righteousness and justice and that's the throne before which we stand this evening that's the throne before which we stand this evening and declare the Lord of faithfulness the Lord of justice in whom there is no unfaithfulness crude and upright are you Oh God of faithfulness without injustice good and upright are you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one say there is no one else like you you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one there is no one else like What and Revelation chapter 5, verse um, 9 and 10, as we stand, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, praise the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray? Yeah, we are here to um, raise our voice and join with the others. There are so many people that are gathered. There are so many gatherings uh, tonight in this city and in this nation. 
I tell you, the devil is being driven out of town. I tell you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh, I want us to just spend a bit of time just focusing on the nation and praying for this uh, nation. I really feel, I, I think the last uh, few uh, weeks and um, the days, I have had this burden uh, that we need to pray for the nation. Amen. And uh, no better place to go than to uh, this particular um, uh, chapter 5 of the book of Revelation. And uh, there is um, a scene in the heavens. Uh, and we can re read from verse 8. It says, Now when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb, each having a herb and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song saying, You are worthy to take the scroll. Hallelujah. Can we read this together? And they sang a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe, tongue, and people, and nation. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We must not lose focus on the nation. Hallelujah. God has a destiny for every nation. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, we, we, God has placed us in this nation for a purpose, for a plan. And you have uh, your inheritance in this nation. And it is time for us to lift up up. And why should we do that? Because verse 10 tells us why. We need to get engage in lifting the nations to God. The Bible says, and have made us. Let's read this together. And have made us kings and priests to our God. And we shall reign on the earth. We shall reign on the earth. Hallelujah. With the people to proclaim and to declare and to decree that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. We are the sons of the kingdom. We are the ones that have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus. And our, our command, it, the command it of the gospel is that we as sons, free sons of the kingdom, are to be light, salt and light to the nation. And we are to take the good news to the nation and flood and fill the whole earth, fill the whole nation with the witness of the Lord Jesus Christ. For us to do that, we need grace. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want us to pray for ourselves, for each one of us, because we all, every one of us has a, a role to play. We have a mandate. We have a place we stand that God will give us power by His grace that we shall truly be light that shines in darkness and that uh, we shall, uh, the Lord shall empower us that we shall continue to shed the light of Christ wherever we go, wherever we are. Hallelujah. The grace of God is upon us. Amen. And uh, as, as we cross over to the new year, the burden is even greater. Amen. The burden is even greater to shine forth as, uh, as kings and as priests. We are both kings. We carry the kingship. The, if the rule of the Father is going to be uh, implemented on the earth, we are the people. We are the sons and daughters that are on this earth to make that possible. Hallelujah. I want us to lift our prayer to the Lord and pray that indeed the Lord will use us, will use me and will use us to be shining light and that this nation, this nation of Kenya will turn around. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every little bit of thing that you can do as a, as a, as a son and daughter, I tell you it has a, a place. It has a, uh, the Lord will use that uh, to change and transform this nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's lift our prayer to him uh, this uh, evening in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name, our God. Uh, Father, thank you that God Almighty, you have called us. Lord, you have empowered us, Lord. You have made us, you have transformed us, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You have called us from every tribe, from every uh, every people. You have called us, Lord, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Every tongue, every tribe, oh God Almighty. 
Yes, Lord Jesus, my God and my Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, O oh, Lord of glory, even my Father this night, O oh, God, my God and my King, as we come to the end of this year, O oh, Lord, we want to dedicate ourselves one more time, Lord, that Jesus, you're going to use us, Lord. As your voice, you're going to use us, O oh Lord, O oh God Almighty, as one that represents the tribe, O oh God, the tongue, and the people, O oh God, a nation, Jehovah, in the name of the Lord Jesus, that every nation shall hear, every tongue shall hear, every nation shall hear, every people shall be represented in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh God, I pray that you may raise sons and daughters, O oh God Almighty, that are going to be shining light oh lord god almighty yes lord in the name of the lord that you that darkness shall not overcome us darkness shall not overcome us but we shall overcome darkness with the light we shall overcome evil oh with doing good in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ Father, I pray in the mighty name of the Lord, raise a generation, raise a generation, O Karema Katera Magandi, from every tongue, from every tribe, O Karema Katora Magandi, O Rabakiana Makante. Every voice, every tongue, every voice, every tongue shall arise in the mighty name of the Lord, even in this day, even in this hour. In the mighty name of the Lord God Almighty, Shila Purama Ketere Baganda, as sons and daughters, as sons and daughters of the kingdom. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. I thank you, Lord of glory. Oh, Lord Almighty, hallelujah. May you, God Almighty, Karema Katera, pour your spirit upon us afresh. Pour your spirit upon us afresh. Oh, God, that we shall take the fragrance of the King. We shall take the fragrance of the King, the good news of the King, to the nations of the earth, to the nations of the earth, to the peoples of the earth, to the tribes of the earth. Oh, God, to every power to every people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ oh God Almighty I thank you Lord of glory because you've called us to be kings and priests oh Lord Pakere Magande Rika Pora Magande Shila Pora Magandara Shera Makatere Rakaya Yes, in the name of the Lord, O oh God Almighty, I pray in the name of Jesus. Sharema Katora Magande, Reka Roma Katera Magande, Reka Pora Bakota Rabakande, Reke Rema Katora Magande. Yes, Lord, this nation shall be filled with the glory of God, shall be filled with the glory of God, shall be filled with the glory of God in the mighty mighty name of Jesus Christ we bless you and honor you in Jesus mighty name let's continue to pray all that the glory of the Lord will fill the land in the mighty name of Jesus yes that the church will be triumphant in the mighty name of Jesus that the church of Jesus Christ, even in 2024, shall be strong, shall be strengthened, shall be alive. All resurrection power shall be upon the church. Hallelujah, Jehovah. We give you the glory. We give you the praise. We are the church of the firstborn. We are the church of his firstborn. We are the church of his, his, his son. Yes, we are the bride of Christ Jesus Oh, we pray for ourselves and we pray for this city and we pray for this nation that the church of Jesus Christ oh, remember the church oh, redeem the church oh, strengthen the church oh, lift the church let there be the true church the manifestation of the true church coming forth somebody pray with me the manifestation of the true church of Jesus Christ the manifestation of true apostles the manifestation of true prophets somebody follow me and pray with me 
Maketo Kozeta, the manifestation of true apostles in this territory. Paria Nagande, Poria Kandia Maga, Paria Kozakanaga. Oh my God, my Father, the manifestation of true prophets, the manifestation of true evangelists. Somebody pray. Shekete kata pagande kozataya Paria ne kozike ne gande Piria na gairi ya kuri ya maganda Parie kozike tete The manifestation of true teachers of the word The manifestation of true shepherds True shepherds Somebody call forth Call forth the strengthening The manifestation of the servants of the Lord In this territory Pakora magande kazo Oh, the manifestation of true psalmist, true worshippers of Jehovah. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, to come from the east, to come from the west, to come from the north, to come from the south. In the name of Jesus Christ, redeem us, the Lord. The Bible says in that scripture, and I, he has made us kings and priests unto our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Yes, we need sons and daughters of the kingdom to put on the spirit of kingship, to put on the spirit of authority, to put on the spirit of rulership. Oh, pick you us, pick you us before the year is over. Oh, in the name of Jesus, the garment of the king, the garment of the king, the garment of the king, the garment of the king is my portion. Oh, the anointing of the king. I'm kingly. I'm gonna be kingly. I am kingly. I have the authority of the king. Oh, the scepter of the king, the authority of the king, the spiritual crown of the king. Somebody pray. Oh, Zeta Tatara Magande Kozatea. Yes, 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 yes. The Ligaria of the King. The, the royal crown. The royal robes. Piracoria, Piria, Piria, Paria, Paria, Poria. The coat of many colors. Parie Kozakata. Pirandorobo Seta. Oh, the word of my mouth is the word of the King. The throne of the King. I ascend. To my throne, I ascend to my throne. Somebody ascend to your throne by the hand of God, by the unction of the Lord, by the desire of the Lord, by the doing of the Lord. He is the one who has made us, He is the one who makes us. You shall rule and reign in that situation on the other. You are being made a king on the other in Nairobi. They are rulers. Rulers that are not yet known, that no one knows about. Oh, yes, the rulers of the Lord. Hallelujah. We put on the spirit of kingship. Somebody call for the spirit of kingship to overshadow, to overshadow, to overshadow you alive so that you may reign on the other, so that you may reign on the other. There are things you need to reign. Oh, it is by the spirit of kingship. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. In that family, you need to be the king. Oh, in that situation, you need to be the king. Somebody start to prophesy and say, I am made for kingship. I shall rule and reign on the earth. I shall rule and reign on the earth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is our portion. This is our inheritance. This is who we are. In prayer, I rule. I rule over witches and sorcerers. I rule. I rule over the rulers of the city. I rule. I rule a ruler by the spirit of rulership. By the spirit of kingship. By the spirit of kingship. Somebody arise and pray this evening. I'm coming in 2024 as a king. Arise ye kings of the Lord. Piranda Kozatiya Naganda. Oriendere Boho Sakaya. 
Rianda Makandi Agazea. Oh my God! Uh, those who are stand, sitting down, stand up. Kings do not rule sitting down. Stand up and speak forth. Oh, Shaya Makandi Akaya. Sierra Behold, Satire. Arise, ye kings. Puria Kaigande. Oh, they are age old troubles that need the ruler, that need the ruler. We shall reign as kings on the earth. Puria Kandia. And we are also made into priests. 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 We over sacrifices. See, see, watu waku over my sacrifices. Waku fanya my spiritual transactions in the spiritual realm. Amuka somebody and pray. See, see, to me pakwa mafuta, to me fanyika, to me itua, to me fanyika. Makuhani wa mungu baba pamoja na wafalme wa mungu baba duniani. Shekatari ya magandi ya kaza. Shetori Akandea 2024. I am a priest. I put on my priestly regalia. I put on my priestly posture. I take on my priestly grace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am a priest unto Jehovah. Piria Kandego Zata. I'm not just a priest. I am a priest unto Jehovah. And I over sacrifices of thanksgiving. Oriakaya and in prayer. Somebody receive grace. Somebody receive grace. We are receiving grace. The word of God is being performed in our lives by the grace of God, by the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah! For this is the will of God, and this is the will of His dear Son. This is the will of Jehovah in the name of Jesus that we may arise in this season as priests unto Jehovah. Hallelujah. Let every priest give a shout to the Lord as we do one more. One more, one more. One more, one more. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jehovah. We are priests unto God. Lift up your voice and say this time. I'm not allowing anyone to affect my life by their priestly ministry. I am a priest unto Jehovah. Lift up your voice and say, I have been made into a king and a priest unto Jehovah God. Somebody rejoice in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. You know many people are in this city tonight. They are meeting in many places. Some are, dance, are just dancing to music. Yes, to the mundudos. And maybe it's okay, I don't have a problem with that. But we have a music that no one knows of. We have the music from heaven. Oh, hallelujah. We have a dance that is not the dance of this world. Because we are priests unto God. Hallelujah. Zechariah, and then I go. Zechariah 9. Oh, this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Zechariah 9 and verse 13. For I have bent Judah, my bow, Hallelujah. Fitted the bow with Ephraim and raised up your sons, O Zion, against your sons, O Greece, and made you the sword. Let's say that. And made you like the sword of a mighty man. 2024. I have been made like the sword of a mighty man the Lord is a man of war the Lord is his name and listen in that war 
he was with me. I am his battle axe. I am his sword. I have become a sword in the hands of my father, the mighty man of war. Oh my God, everywhere I go. Now the Bible says, I've raised your sons, O Zion, against the sons of Greece. May they be compact in 2024 in the name of Jesus. May there be a collision in this, in this territory. We decree a collision between the sons of Zion and the sons of Greece that dwell in this territory. Periakuria Maganda Koziah in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my God. And the sons of Zion are going to be mighty. They are triumphant. They are victorious. Because the Lord Jehovah has made sons of Zion. How many sons of Zion do we have here? He says you have been raised against the sons of Greece in the city and you have been made like the sword of a mighty man in the name of Jesus. What is the prayer point? The prayer point is Father, in the name of Jesus let the sons of Zion be mighty in the land. Let the sons of Zion not be overtaken, not be overthrown, not be rooted out. Let them be planted. Let them be stable. Let them be established. Let I'm already in prayer. Let them be mighty in the mighty name of Jesus. Let Nairobi know the sons of Zion. Oh, let them arise all over the place. All over the place. Now somebody pray. All over the place. Let them be planted all over the place. All over the place. Young children, sons of Zion. Daughters, sons of Zion. Sons, sons of Zion. Fathers, sons of Zion. Mothers, sons of Zion. Are you praying with me? Singers who are sons of Zion. Preachers who are sons of Zion. Pariana Guria Picande, Sheteria Magandi Agundaba, Paria Reco Seketakata. Somebody, if you can enter in the realm of the spirit and let there be the compact that needs to happen as the sons of Zion, 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 let them come forth. Let them be mighty. Let them not be overthrown. Let them not be overtaken. Let them not be confused. Let them not uh, be sacrificed in the altars of the sons of Greece. Peria Katsokatata. Paria Kesokatata. Paria Ndokosekatata. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. The sons of Zion, they are like the sword in the hands of the mighty one. Oh, let them be do their work. Let the sword be you. Let the sword be yielded in prayer. Let the sword be yielded in worship. Let the sword be yielded in ministry. Let the sword be yielded in the word. The word of the Lord. Let the sword be yielded in sacrifices of praise. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. You are doing well. No son of no son of Greece is going to prevail. I want our Greece, want our Ugriki. I want to prevail. I want to prevail. I want to prevail. I want to prevail. To Nansa Kunena, to Kisema Kwajina na Yeso. Want our Ugriki, Nakasi Zao, Namata Bau Zao, Sikauke. Sikauke, 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 Katika China na Yeso. Ah, sisi ni wana wa Zayuni, tunatawana pamoja na Kristo, pamoja na Kristo, pamoja na Kristo, pamoja na Kristo. Tunasimama kwa wakati, tunasimama kwa nyakati, katika China na Yeso. Katika China na Yeso, tumepakwa upako, tumepewa nguvu, Mamulaka, somebody pray. Jekata tada magande kosate, 
Hira koza kana gande koza te Pari akura magande koza ya Pari akura magande nebo sata Pari akose kate kate kata ta Hira kosi akandi ya maganda Mlima sayuni Mlima sayuni Mlima sayuni Mlima sayuni Na ekalo nyumba na bwana Ampalo liko Tuya mlima sayuni O liko na ngufu Iko na ngufu na uweza Na mamulaka na utukufu Paka zaka takatoka Parakoti ya kandia Piri ya kandia ya kandaya Pari yako soko toria Asante buwana Asante buwana Asante yeso Asante buwana wa majeshi Asante mungu wa majeshi Asante mungu wa majeshi Asante mungu wa majeshi Asante mungu wa majeshi the Lord. We worship you Jesus Christ. We worship you Jesus Christ. We worship you Jesus Christ. We give you the glory. The glory is yours. The honor is yours. The wisdom is yours. The power is yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah Jesus. Somebody worship the Lord. Haria kuzerera na na magande na boho Zetelela na 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 Hallelujah To Jesus Christ It is not time for the sons of Zion to be rooted out. It is time for the sons of Zion to be planted by a mighty planting. In business, you will be planted as a son of Zion. In worship, you will be planted as a son of Zion. In prayer, you prevail as a son of Zion. The door of prayer. Yours is the power, yours is the glory forever, amen. Yours is the kingdom, yours is the power, yours is the glory forever, yours.
your kingdom come, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come to us. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come to us. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come to us. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Come on, lift your hands and say, Let your fire. Let your Give God a praise and a shout. Yeah. Hallelujah. The Lord is raising the sons of Zion against the sons of Greece. Amen. You know, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 6, I think verse 1, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the glory of God. In the year. Somebody say, in the year. So that means destiny can be shaped in one year. Mm -hmm. And I want us to make a declaration because we are one hour and some minutes to 2024. In as much as God is a God of all seasons, time and seasons are important. If a year can cause or in a year a prophet can see the glory of God, it means the problems of a year can expire. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Amen. That when we enter into 2024, every battle, every battle of 2023 must expire. Amen. That you, you come to a year and say, in the year of 2023, I fought these battles, but I am not fighting them anymore. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Amen. And I remember a few days ago I, I, I don't want to give details but I was with, um, with a, a, a certain woman of God and we were talking about the battles of life church in 2023 and this woman of God who happens to be in this service today <laughs> told me that all the battles of life church in 2023 are over Amen. they are over Every conspiracy, every demonic assignment against this ministry that we have gone through, we declare it is over in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is over in the name of Jesus. And I want us to activate our faith because in this year, God spoke to us and said, for such a time as this, for such a time as this, and you know it is a story of Esther and Esther was raised by God to be a, a son who will fight and contend for the purposes of God. Amen. And so 2023 we have been fighting against the system of Egypt. We have been fighting against the system of Babylon. We have been fighting against the system of Sodom. But we are announcing today that those systems that have kept us back 
are expired and they are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And as we step into 2024, you shall not contend with the systems Amen. of Egypt. Amen. We declare they expire in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I want us to make three prayers concerning these systems. Three or four. Number one, let's deal with the system of Sodom. The system of Sodom, among other things, is a system that causes our sons to compromise. Is a system that causes the sons of Zion to compromise. Oh Jesus. I pray none of us will compromise. Amen. And if you have compromised the standards of the kingdom, I want to plead with you, it's time to repent. Because this system of Sodom must be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And after we do that prayer, we are going to do number two. We deal with the system of Egypt. The system of Egypt, among other things, is a system that kills our children. Mm. It kills our dreams. It kills our vision. But it also kills our seed. You know, it's the spirit of Pharaoh that said every boy who is born must be killed. And we must declare that the system of Egypt is destroyed. And our sons and our daughters will not be destroyed by that system. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Number three. We are going to deal with the system of Babylon. For such a time as this. The system of Babylon. This system seeks to destroy the people of God. A whole nation. Led by Haman and his ten sons. But we want to declare in the name of Jesus. In 2024, we are not going to deal with the sons of Haman. Because we are finishing these battles here. Oh my God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now lift up your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. And you are going to deal with this system one after the other. Right now lift up your voice for three minutes. Begin to pray in the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray in the spirit somebody. Lift up your voice and pray. Shakaye bazare pakayanda. Zande re pakaya mazoria maseketa. Le mazondo ropo seke para mazere bakanda. Le masika pora zande re makaya mazoria. Shande re bakaya mazade baramakata. Shande re pakuria zaria bahande. We arise as the sons of Zion. We arise as sons of Zion. Again as the sons of Greece, again as the sons of Babylon, again as the sons of Sodom, again as the sons of Egypt, in the name of Jesus, for such a time as this, we have reason, we have reason in the strength of God. In 2023, we have fought the battles of the Lord and we declare the battles of 2023 shall not cross over into 2024. This system, these systems we declare and announce they expire in this year. Oh my God. Sayabaka. Satoria Bakaya. Sando Robokaya. Sataria Mazora. Sande Rebakaya. Satoria Zata. Sando Korea. Any residue of these demonic systems we declare they expire now. In the name of Jesus, we are entering into 2024 and we declare that in this year we will fight the battles of the Lord we shall fight the battles of the Lord for 2024 oh my God Makaya Shandoria Makaya no remnant no remnant of the sons of Babylon the sons of Egypt the sons of Sodom we say no remnant Zaya Magande, Zakabokata, Zakatoria, Zandoria, Zakora, Paroza, Lapakande, Zatoria Baka. This is how I want us to pray. The Bible says, I think it was the, the, the five kings of, of Canaan, when Joshua 
fought and won the battle. He captured the five kings and he took five of his commanders and commanded his commanders to place their legs on the necks of the kings so that they can cut off their heads. And I want us to do that declaration right now. Just stretch out your hand as though you are stepping on the neck of these spirits and these systems. And we declare this battle ceases tonight. This battle ceases tonight. Now lift up your voice. Begin to deal with the systems of Egypt. The system of Egypt that kills our sons, that kills our vision, that kills our dreams. Oh my God, we place our hand, our legs on the necks of Egypt and we declare by the sword of the Lord, we destroy the system of Egypt in the name of Jesus. We secure our children, we secure our vision, we secure our dreams, we secure our sons and our daughters in the mighty name of Jesus. We say the system of Egypt is broken. Makayama, Shandere Makaya Messiah. Now lift up your voice and begin to thank God that the system of Egypt is destroyed. Life church, you shall not deal with the system of Egypt because the Lord destroys that system. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. Now listen to me. Stretch your leg one more time. Place it on the neck of the system of Sodom. All oh, that spirit must be destroyed in life church. The spirit of compromise. Hey! No wife of Lot in this house. We say, you spirit of compromise, we crush your head. Zion Makaya, because the sons of Zion must arise. Now lift up your voice and begin to pray. Place your, le your leg on the neck of the enemy. We declare in the name of Jesus, no system of Sodom. We shall not look back. We shall not look back. We shall not raise Moab. Makaya. We shall not raise Ammon. We refuse the system of Sodom. In the name of Jesus, we declare holiness unto the Lord. We declare holiness unto the Lord. We declare holiness unto the Lord. Finally, let's place our legs on the, on the neck of the system of Babylon. For such a time as this, God raised us in 2023 to deal with Babylon decisively. I remember at the beginning of the year, we began with the 10 sons of Haman. And we exposed them and began to fight against them. I know the contentions of the battles we have gone through is because of the level of engagement we engaged at the beginning of the year. But we say the battles of this year must end tonight. Amen. Must end tonight. Amen. May you go and fight the battles of the door and the battles of the gates, but not the battles of, of Babylon. We say no. The captivity of Babylon must be broken. Your business must begin to prosper. Your family must prosper. Your ministry must thrive. Oh my God. Shayama. Lift up your voice. Place your leg on the, head, on the neck of Haman and Babylon. Oh my God. Lift up your voice. Begin to declare. Oh my father. Shayamaka. Zandoria, Zakoria, Payana, Zakuta, Sharama. My children will not deal with the system of Babylon. Oh my, oh my, oh my. My children will not deal with the system of Babylon. We declare today, we crush the head of Babylon. 
and we declare Babylon, Babylon is fallen. May the Lord raise you up now as Mordecai to sit at the gates, to sit at the gates, to sit at the gates, to sit at the gates. Let's deal, with the, let's deal with the ten sons of Haman. Can, which, which scripture is that? You know, as we were praying, I, I really felt this, that we need to make a special prayer for people who are in business. That those of you who do business, may God give you a seat at the gate. Oh, Jesus. Those of you that do business, may God give you a seat at the gate. We are not talking just about the economy of Kenya, that it will be better or not. No, no, that, that's another thing. But for the sons of Zion, yes. your case is different. Amen. Your case is different. Yes. Every system that has been trying to uproot you from the gate of influence, Amen. that system has expired. Amen. And we declare, Amen. any person who does boost this business, yes. may God establish your throne at the gate. As they are looking for that scripture, let's make that prayer. Let's lift your voice now. Those of you that do business, pray. Even if you don't do business, you know somebody who does business. Declare that God is giving them a throne at the gates. Lift your voice, somebody, and pray. Lift your voice, somebody, and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Nine six. Come on, somebody pray. Somebody pray. Shaya Makaya. Shaya Makaya. Shakataya Mazeda. Maro Makatoria. We are not dealing with this system anymore. We are finishing these battles decisively tonight. You know, I, I really feel like to ask Pastor Sunda to come and lead us in this prayer so that she can explain very briefly. We don't need to explain. We just mention, okay, see, your memory is good. And if, you, if your memory is not good, take your notebook. Hallelujah. My voice, my voice is blessed. Amen. Soda nyingi lakini ni sawa. And in Shushan, the citadel, the Jews killed and destroyed 500 men. Also, Parsha Dada, Dalphon, as father. I give you three minutes. Deal with these three. Lift up your voice now and begin to pray. Shakaya Mazoria. We place our feet on the neck of Parshadaba and we cut off that head. We cut off that head. We cut off that head. Zarama Katora. Zakaya. Come on, somebody lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Engage in prayer. We cut off that head in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you have placed your sword in our hands. We place our feet on the neck of Dalphon and we cut off that head. We declare the principality of Dalphon will never rise again to hinder the advancement of the children of God. We destroy that principality in the mighty name of Jesus. We place our feet on the neck of Aspada. We cut off that head in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that influence expires in this house. Go to the next verse quickly. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Let's deal with this tree very quickly. Can we read this? Now, let's read this together out aloud. Verse 8, 1, 2, 3, go. Parada, Adalia, Aridaba. We declare, we cut off their heads. Oh my God. Oh my God. We cut off their heads. We destroy this conspiracy and this network in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your voice and declare. We say, Parada, your assignment is over. We say, Adelia, your assignment is over. We say, Aridava, your assignment is over. We destroy this network in the mighty name of Jesus. Zakabagando Robokata. For such a time as this. For such a time as this. For such a time as this. Let's read verse 9 out aloud. I wish you can speak out aloud from the depths of your heart. Now read, read quickly. Want to go? Parmasta, Arisai, Aridai, and Vajazaba. Do you want to be a partner to these people? No. What do you want to do with these people? Destroy them. Strike them with a decisive blow. Oh my God. Kayaba, look at verse 10. Look at verse 10. The 10 sons of Haman, the son of Hamidaba, the enemy of the Jews, they killed, but they did not lay a hand on the plunder. You know, one president, the president of Israel, he said, they started the war, we'll finish the war. They are dead men walking. Now we don't want them to walk. They are dead men. Oh my God. Lift up your voice right now. And declare decisively. That the sons of Haman. The evil network of Babylon. Ends tonight. Ends tonight. Those principalities. That have been contending. For you are thrown at the gates. Those principalities are uprooted. Now God gives you a throne at the gates. Come on, somebody declare. Come on, somebody. You have two minutes. Declare that decisively over life, church, over your life, over your family, over your business. Over your ministry, Zaya Makayo Basakataya, Sandoro Pakaya Mazaria, Sande Keria Masoria Bakaya, Makaya Mazaria Makaya. Every stronghold must come down. Oh, Jesus. Shatabada, Shazadaya, Shazagataria, Shazaria Bada. Zikata Shazia Padaya Shazakata Payera Saya Mazia Pata Zagete Shazia Badora Zege Shazaria Badaya Shaze Tapaya Bada Eka Kase Rabaya Ishazo Taria Bada In the name of Jesus Sarobada Hallelujah Hallelujah Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome. Every high thing must come down. Come on, show it. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You have overcome You have overcome Hallelujah You have overcome 
We are here for serious battles so that this coming year nobody can stand at the door to block you. The battle happens at the gates and at the door. Glory to God. And we are the sons that have been shot as arrows. We are answering the enemies at the gates. We are greeting the enemies at the gates. Glory to God in the highest. Are you listening to me? Something powerful is going to happen. Amen. So lift your hands and thank God for 2023. And say, Lord, I'm grateful for that year. However it went. Lord, we are grateful. We worship you. We thank you for it. Thank you, Jesus, for all you did. To you belongs the glory, the praise, the honor. Blessed is your name, Jesus. Mighty is your name. Thank you. Wonderful Savior. It's been wonderful. You kept us. You protected us, oh God. Even when things were hard, we saw your goodness in the land of the living. Yes, Lord Jesus, we thank you for it. We praise you for it. We magnify your name for it. In Jesus' mighty name and God's people shout amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're going to have you take a rest. God bless you, worship team. And maybe seated and everybody in the house uh, of God this evening. Uh, we are grateful for the prayers. Thank you, Pastor Gigi and Pastor Sunta and Pastor Mark leading us in a powerful, powerful prayer. 
Amen. For the nation, for the body of Christ, for the sons of God, sons of Zion, and also uh, placing the sons of Greece, of Sodom, of Egypt, of Babylon, where they belong. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. This is how you look like when you are about to cross the year. Even the children have been brought here. We congratulate every father, every mother that has collected their children and brought them here. I think you are training them in the right way. They need to hear sound and noise. They need to get used to uh, the house of the Lord. Praise God. We appreciate all of you uh, that are here tonight. These about uh, 50 minutes, we will deal with a couple of things. And then when it is time, we'll have a countdown. And you can do whatever you want to do to see a new year. Amen. Then after that, we will, you know, minister to you. We will also uh, give our first offering for the year. We will also, you know, declare certain things and make some prayers. And then we will ask those who are not saved or those who backslid in 2023 to stride forward. No, I'm serious. You cannot come here to cross a year and you're not saved. I was a gani. Leo tunaku intercedia, tunaku ombea mbaka leo ni lazima uokoke. Kwa nini hakuna amen? Kwa nini nini? Ama nini ni wale? Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. We're going to ask Humphrey. Humphrey come. He's an elder in the house. Give him a mic, you know, and uh, just say something about this. It's behind you. The mic is behind you. Sorry. Uh, 2023, you know, uh, just say something how this has been. Because it's over in a couple of minutes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. You know, you're not yet there, but we can start from there. Yeah, yeah, 2023, uh, I think it's been quite a tough year, especially in the, in the business the front, uh, with the economies of the world, and also our Kenyan economy doing very badly. So I know it, is, it has been quite a, a very, very big struggle. Uh, where, where, where I work, in the the construction industry has been very, very tough, uh, but the Lord has seen us through. Praise the Lord. I think it was, it was, it was a, a year of great, great warfare in all fronts, in the spirit, in the physical, in the business world. But we thank God that he has brought us this far as we cross over into the year 2024 into the open door. Praise the name of the Lord into the open door in the year 2024. Let me just give you a scripture, uh, also uh, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 7 and 8. Uh, uh, because we've dealt with 2023, now we are ushering ourselves in the year 2024. And uh, the Lord has ministered to me this scripture as I was meditating on this open door. And the Bible says, And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, Right, right. These things says he who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shuts, and shuts and no one opens. Let's carry on. I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door. Somebody say an open door. And no one can shut it. The door that the Lord has opened for you in this year 2024, there is no one that can shut it. For you have a little strength. I know we ran out of strength. We were feeble. We are weak in the year 2023. But we are coming again strong with a renewed strength in the year 2024. And you've kept my word and have not denied my name. Uh, out of this scripture, the Lord ministered to me when it in the, the scriptures talks about the key of David. As we enter into the arena, or to enter into the space, into the realm of open doors and open opportunities, we'll need some specific keys 
when you get into a room, uh, sometimes you discover, also you enter into a big door, into a big gate, you discover other rooms inside at the space you are entering in. And some rooms are restricted because when the Bible says that uh, the Lord will give us treasures in the dark places, uh, treasures are not on the surface, they are never on the surface. They are hidden, they are secured, they are, dig they are, they are put deep into a place where nobody can access them for security, for safety and all that. So what we need, even as we enter through these open doors in the year 2024, there are some specific keys. I call them restricted keys to access restricted rooms. You need a key with a certain restricted profile so that you can enter into that restricted room to access your treasure, to access your victory, to access your grace for the year 2024. Praise the name of the Lord. And some of these keys, just to name uh, one, two, two or three, uh, one of these keys that you need would be, could be your gift. The gift that you've sat on, you know, for many years, for all the time, thinking about it, doing nothing about it, you need to activate that key to be able to access that restricted room for your victory. Could be your talent, could be a certain skill, that the Lord is going to revive that skill to be able to access a certain room of victory in the year 2024. Could be favor, that the Lord is going to give you a key of favor to access certain inheritance in the year 2024 and many other keys i know the pastors apostles is going to mention so many of them along the way <laughs> as we, we as we enter through the open door so god bless you i we are confident of the year 2024 we are not intimidated praise the name of the lord we have the confidence of the lord that we are entering with praise and with thanksgiving god bless you Wow, praise God, praise God. I like the way people in this house, they are ever ready with the scriptures. I don't know your neighbor how many scriptures you have without ref referring. So thank you so much, sir. Those keys, you've reminded me something powerful. The key of David. To gingria yo mlango ya key of David, tunaesa enda mbaka Zakaraya chapter, you know, hapo 12, to ingia hivyo, to scare the weakest among us, will be like David, very powerful, you know, and then, this one time, the Lord gave me insights, 25 keys, yeah, 25, yeah, Izo Mesema, they are 25, so, Kayaza, hey. the year has not even started, there are enough services, there are enough convocations, we shall teach everything, Glory to God. Let me first, uh, before reading scripture and share a couple of things, acknowledge other pastors and leaders from the body of Christ, uh, from other ministries and other of our uh, ministries, wherever you are coming from, and you just you know came down to the crossover Kesha. We want to acknowledge you. You are minister of the gospel. You may not be a pastor, but you lead a ministry. I will ask you to stand up wherever you are. We want to acknowledge you. It will be a blessing. Take the moment and let's see where you are and who you are. God bless you. Let's appreciate all pastors and ministers. Asante is mameni, is mameni, watumishu wabwana. All right. I think all of you need to read the book. You too can be a man of God. But we acknowledge this uh, Pastor Alex from uh, Life Church International. Gasharage Ruaka region. God bless you. And the man of God, what's your name, sir? Collins Moheso. God bless you, man of God. Coming from where? Oh, Nime Kukumbuka. Nime Kukumbuka. God bless you. Let's appreciate that man of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. We have a woman of God behind there. What's your name? That's, oh yeah, Pastor Pauline works with Ferdinand Dolo. God bless you, woman of God. Thank you for being here. We appreciate her. Amen. Oh, I thought Charlie, you are standing. Ah, Kayoza. Pastor Charlie. All right. She was just passing. God bless you. Amen. You are also blessed. Sasa, nyamukusimama nyini akinanani?
you are leading your own business very soon you will discover your business is your ministry yeah you are the pastor of your business glory to god we really thank god for what's gonna happen this year now let me show you where we are coming from uh, briefly and we welcome those that are online if you can go online on your phone you can share the page elevate tv kenya uh live church international on facebook youtube elevate tv kenya and facebook or my page uh you can pick all these pages and share don't just be seated here without share anytime 2024 you got to be a uh, social media savvy learn to pick these things and share them in jesus mighty name do you have anybody from the diaspora who is visiting anybody from any other country you're back in kenya for a couple of days and you have showed up here tonight uh can, do we have anybody from the diaspora as mama as mama kama mama toka eh nimeona watu wa oh yeah kata uh god bless you let's appreciate this woman of god yeah how is doha doha is great amen anybody else from another place in the diaspora where are the americans all right god bless you nyinyi ni diaspora hapa tu kiambu nyinyi msijali you know hapa tu praise the lord and nairobi hallelujah in the book of esther we're going to begin there chapter 4 and verses 11 now in chapter 4 of esther because we've been dealing with the book of esther at the beginning of 2023 uh and then we began pushing the agenda uh and you l- let me just uh go back a little bit before chapter 4 uh go to chapter 2 you know there was this audition verse 15 now chapter 2 verse 15 now when the turn came for Esther the daughter of Abihai the uncle of Mordecai who had taken her as his daughter to go to the king into the king she requested nothing but what her guy the king's eunuch the custodian of the women advised and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all those who saw her or in the sight of all who saw her so Esther was taken to king Ahasuerus into his royal palace in the 10th month which is the month of Tebeth in the 7th year of his reign and the king loved Esther more than all the other women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the other virgins so he set the royal cl- crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti that is a description of an open door that opened for Esther when the door for Vashti shut down a vacancy was created and Esther replaced Vashti Look at your neighbor say there are vacancies. May this open door cause you to replace somebody. In chapter 4 verse 11 the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces know that any man or woman who goes into the inner court to the king who has not been called Huh? he has but one law what is the law put all to death except the one to whom the king holds out the golden scepter that he may live yet i myself have not been called to go in to the king these 30 days as i saying i have not been called although i am the wife the queen You don't just go. Hiyo sheria ni ile ya Mendes. Ushaka kuona Mende kwa nyumba yenu. Hiyo sheria. The Mendes these these laws they are dangerous. They cannot be changed. So hata kama you are the queen, you can't just show up. Otherwise you will die. What a husband. Wives who are here, has your man put sheria in the house? 
or you anaweka unarab <laughs> so because anyway women lead through influence they can talk to you for seven days until you withdraw sheria zako hizo anyway thank god for this door that opened for Esther you see the lord i know right now i saw online some people criticizing prophecy saying oh all these crossovers people be told about the new year and the word of the lord if you are not a prophet stay away hello here we don't do guesswork here we are not prophesying because it is december 31st Actually the word for 2024 I was given the Sunday before I left for US in October I was preaching about the uh, bringing down the system of Babylon and in the middle of the message the Lord spoke to me I was standing right where I'm standing and he showed me how 2024 will be and I announced it huh some people missed it so uh, and what the Lord showed was this while Esther was not allowed for 30 days to show up God made a way and you remember the whole year we have been pushing in prayer every month three days of prayer and fasting the Esther fast and it is accumulated to something powerful in the spirit praise the Lord and this Esther finding favor and literally if you look at these verses uh, you know how in chapter 4 let me go back to chapter 4 then they told Mordecai so they told Mordecai Esther's words and Mordecai you know instructed uh, Esther very powerfully uh, verse 13 don't think in your heart that you will escape the king's palace anymore than all the other Jews and if you remain completely silent at this time relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place but you and your father's house will perish yet who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this we have pushed that agenda the whole the whole year now if you read in chapter 5 verse 1 and 2 now it happened on the third day that Esther put on her royal robes and stood in the inner courts of the king's palace across from the king's house look at how strategic she was while the king sat on his royal throne in the royal palace facing the entrance of the house unajua si ati uko kuliko umefungwa fungwa sana yeye akavaa vizuri akakaa pale na pande ile mfalme ko kule so in case akigauka hivi ataona mlesh mrembo huko sorry wife ask your neighbor where are you seated this coming here you must be very strategic Munasikia vijana na wasichana wanyamjaoa na mjaolewa shida ni mahali umeketi <laughs> nyuma huko huko lakini vifungua tutakupea mweze kufungua so she stood very strategically and it was verse 2 so it was when the king saw queen Esther standing in the court that she found favor in his sight and the king held out I'm telling you to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand then Esther went near and touched the top of that scepter and the king said to her what, what do you wish Queen Esther what is your request it shall be given to you up to half of the kingdom good the door has opened oh yes mulango diyo huwa mafunguka glory to God ama natajua ajui just by coming in touch with Esther and Esther saying a couple of things by chapter 6 that night look at what happened that night in chapter 6 first sentence that night the king could not sleep you don't play around with somebody who has fasted for three days she carries virtue she carries anointing glory to God she is anointed Nimepakwa mafuta mabichi. Pembe yangu na sina pembe. Eh? Imeinuliwa. Oh, my authority has been lifted. That song says, Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
And so by these scriptures, the Lord showed me just like a door was opened for Esther, the church must be ready for 2024 to encounter open doors and be able to enter places where you have not entered for a long time. Hallelujah. To such a great extent that Esther, being a Jew, is now in a foreign nation, strategically positioned because this Babylonian kingdom must be shaken. And Esther has become part of the system. There's a man of God who, who taught us one time a very strange message in a convocation. Ken O'Gale. He said, work the system. Enter the system and from there begin to hack it. Esther entered the palace state house. As a Jewish woman, she revealed herself very late. But finally when she said who she was, it was too late for the king even to change uh, his mind. And then it is from there that the table stand for Haman and his ten sons. And you've seen just what we've done. Another preacher from Europe called us and said, uh, can you send me those notes of uh, the ten sons of Haman I heard you guys talk about. So the message has been exported to Europe. It has already been preached. Amen. And Charlie typed the notes. And then to Kanini. You can give out your message. Because there is no copyright. Hallelujah. Now, let me tell you something. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 16. Okay, it's on the board. So you can't go. You can just open your eyes. The Bible says, 1 Corinthians 16 and verse 9. But for us to appreciate verse 9... We need to read from verse 5. Now I will come to you when I pass through Macedonia, for I am passing through Macedonia. Now Paul is always on a mission and is telling Corinth, I will come to you as I pass through where? Macedonia. Verse 6. And it may be that I will remain or even spend the winter with you that you may send me on my journey wherever I go. You know, right now it is winter in that part of Europe. So I think this letter was written in this winter time. For I do not wish to see you now on the way, but I hope to stay a while with you if the Lord permits. All right, he's not sure of his itinerary, how he's going to handle it. But I will tarry in Ephesus until Pentecost. Pentecost was a time. It's not a ceremony. I mean it's not a, uh, it's actually the date, the season, the moment of that feast of Pentecost. So I'll wait until that time. Then verse 9. For a great, everybody read, want to go. For a great and effective door has opened to me and there are many adversaries. Now, this scripture uh, these words are written by Paul when actually he was in Ephesus. He's writing from Ephesus. And he's saying right here in Ephesus, a great and effectual door has opened to me. And there are many adversaries. Now the Bible doesn't say but there are many adversaries because then the door will not become accessible because of the adversaries. But here it says, and. In other words, though the adversaries are there, we will still do what we must do and still walk through this open door in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Now, this door here in the context is an extension of the gospel. A door has opened to me that I may extend and preach the gospel here in Ephesus. That was, that's what he is saying. And you see, anointed men, wise men, wise people, God's people, always watch for any opportunity that will be availed for them and to them so that they can share the love of God. I know most people in this generation has no testimony. They are saved without a testimony. It's very strange. I pray that this year 
in this season you will have a time to share your story and be able to share what Christ has done for you opportunities are very many so for Paul the door he's talking about is a door of opportunities now next Sunday I'll go a little bit deeper on this message and share the this word but I'm gonna just give you some outlines now there are four mentioned doors there are many of them but let me just mention four types of doors here in Hosea chapter 2 verse 15 God uses a prophet to talk about a door of hope Hosea chapter 2 verse 15 this is what the Bible says I will give her her vineyards from there and the valley of a core or a show as a door of hope she will sing there as in the days of her youth as in the day when she came up from the land of egypt now here there's a valley mentioned this valley of a core if that's how you could pronounce it is a valley where in joshua chapter 7 Achan who was troubling Israel until they were defeated. You remember how Israel took Jericho just like that with a shout. But when they went to the next city, they took it lightly. The city was called Ai. Ai, not Ai. And they could not defeat, they could not take that city. And Joshua was mad and he went before God and then it was revealed. There's a man called Achan who actually has brought in the accursed thing. And you know in that chapter what happened, they collected Achan and his family and they killed them at the valley of Akor. So that valley, if you follow in scripture, is mentioned a couple of places. But the valley of Akor is a picture of defeat this is a place where you lost the battle but now i will make that moment where you lost the battle and those experiences i'll turn the story i'll make it a door of hope so get ready in this season that where you lost god will give you an opportunity another chance and this time a door of hope is going to open for you. Get ready for it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You are still laughing over Ai. You can start a business called Ai. Ai Enterprises. Like in they call it AI. They think it's a new technology. Now, this door. Somebody say the door. Door of hope. There's another door which is actually in Acts chapter 14 verse 27 Acts 14 verse 27 the Bible says and when they had come and gathered the church together this is Dr. Luke showing the itineraries and journeys of Paul and Tim and company they reported all that God had done with them and that he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. It's not that just the Jews, but the Gentiles now have begun to hear the gospel. And that door is called the door of faith. For those of you who are ministers of the gospel, get ready in this 2024 for a door of faith to open in certain places. When John Mashberg was here preaching, he gave us an invitation to the nation of Nepal in the northern part of India. So, a door of faith has opened in the nation of Nepal and Thailand. America, let's go east. Let's go east. Praise God. One time in 2008, I have been to America, I think seven times or six can't remember and then I went one day and they denied me visa they said I have no social 
connections here. I said, what do you mean I have no social connection? And they said, it's, you know, no visa. I, the city is back. <laughs> so I was disappointed. I'm wondering, I have never extended my stay in America, never broken in law. I would go two weeks and come back. I don't go six months. No. Two weeks, you know, 20 days, 18, like that. So I left the embassy. And when I, I left, the Holy Spirit spoke to me on my way out of there. He said, go east. So that's how I stopped going to America and began going to Pakistan, India, you know, and Southeast Asia. So, east, praise the Lord. Where were? Either clock in Asema. Which clock are you using? No, your clock is wrong. Mine is saying is 25. Isn't it? So, here 10 minutes in the garden. Won't I interrupt the message? Can we have a proper timekeeper? Now, what was your servant? You are my kuja. Will you? Yeah, sour. You give me the proper sour. Good. God bless you. The, our technical guy is there. Amen. Sour. So, the kinu shonye shikira mutu na onye shato mimi. What was I saying before they interrupted the engine? Go east, praise the Lord. Yeah, I began going east. So, a door of faith opened for us in the east. Amen. And Asunta went to Jordan, the city of Amman. She was received by four Arabs with Mohawk put in between, driving through the desert. She was wondering, am I safe? It is a door of faith. Somebody said the door of faith. So, when you hear the open door, one of the doors, it's not just door of ch second chance and door of hope, but also number two, door of what? Of faith. Get ready to step into places never stepped before. In fact, there's a country I'm going in February since I was born. I've never been to that country. I'm going for four days. Yes, four days. Because at our to Ninio Akijaba Nakuja Skumbiri. Amen. Somebody say a door of faith. Pastor Gigi, are you ready to go to places never gone? Pastor Mark, huh? we went with you to India. We got into a, a strange vehicle from Chennai down to Triche, Tamil Nadu. We, six hours, that driver is the worst driver I've ever seen in the world. He risked our lives. I told Pastor Mark, when we get to that city, we cannot use another vehicle coming back. We will fly. We bought an extra ticket. We flew, we were looking down and say, hey, those vehicles. <laughs> tell your neighbor, money is good for missions. I tell you, you need money. Sir, you used to be in India, so you know South India, you know those places. Those guys, you know, if you look at a river, you cannot tell this drop of water that it is going on a straight line. No, it's just going. So all the vehicles, hey, no straight lines. It was whew, 160. My God. Huh? Our intestines were almost coming out. <laughs> that was a very dangerous thing. But anyway, we are still alive because the door of faith had been opened. Hallelujah. The main door is this door that our brother Humphrey has read. Revelation chapter 3 verse 8 is called an open door. Praise the Lord. Open door. Amen. Look at Colossians 4 verse 3. There's another type of door uh, in Colossians chapter 3. And Paul asks for prayer. He says, meanwhile, praying also for us that God would open to us a door for the word. To speak the mystery of Christ for I am also, for which I am also in chains. It's a door of utterance. It's called the door of utterance. Somebody say the door of utterance. Praise God. Now, the context of this open door in 1 Corinthians, we read chapter 16 verse 9. 
uh, in Ephesus where the Bible says and there are many adversaries I want you to know 2024 there will also be a number of challenges yeah there will be a couple of difficulties a little fires and a little high waters but God will not cause you to drown and God will not cause you to burn are you listening to me there are adversaries there are difficult times in 2024 but God has given us a great this great is mega megas in Greek mega door this is a major door a, an active door but look at what Paul was literally saying to the Corinthians in the chapter before 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 32 this is what Paul was saying now he says if in the manner of men I have fought with the beasts at Ephesus what advantage is it to me if the dead do not rise let us eat and drink for tomorrow we die he is dealing with the matter of resurrection uh, did Jesus rise from the dead or not but in between there he's, he puts a very major statement and saying there is um, an amazing a strange kind of battle he faced in Ephesus he says I fought with the beasts of Ephesus one day because I'll write a book when I'm 80 years. I will talk about the beasts of Nairobi. Because I fought quite a number. And every January, certain beasts show up. So this time I decided to deal with them before January comes. Sitaki beasts. One time I was seated. Let me show you. There's a time we had only one hall here. One hall. So this was the wall. The entrance was here, below here. We had covered that entrance. That was a pulpit. So one time I was seated on the edge of the pulpit in January. And I saw in the spirit, I had a mic, a mic from Wallace mic without a tail. Those old Sinehesa mics. And it was down here. I was seated and it was here. All of a sudden, a very strong, huge woman showed up, ready to pick my mic. And through reflex and speed, thank God I used to play soccer. I picked my mic before she picked it. I discovered, oh my God, this is a major demonic thing speaking my mic. What does my mic mean? It's my gadget for communication. And that time I got an attack on my chest and on my voice for some time. Until one time doing lunch hour service, you know, with a mic, somebody was listening to me in the Dorrit. Two medical people. One senior doctor and another one. And so one of those who used to come to our lunch hour had gone to work in the Dorrit. And then when they were there she said to her colleague let's listen to our men of God in, over the lunch hour on Facebook and YouTube. So they were listening and the other senior doctor said no listen, listen to your pastor. I think he's unwell. The way he is breathing there's a problem. No she said no no, no he's okay. He's breathing well. I? Oh, a years back. <laughs> so I received a text. Man of God, are, are you okay? Is your chest okay? I said, my chest I think is okay. He said, no, no, no. I think you need help. I said, what help? And they were serious. They, they actually literally made an appointment for me. Went to see a doctor, senior one, uh, in the Nanobi hospital. I said, it's a Wednesday afternoon. I have to go for the evening service. So I want an appointment specific time when I'll see the doctor. They say three o'clock. I was there 10 minutes to three. Oh, my friend. Even for that day, they had not seen me. So now, I was so stressed and saying, oh Lord, what's the issue? Then when I saw the names of the clinic, I said, there's a problem here. Why am I coming to this kind of clinic? I will not tell you what the name of that clinic. Because um, so those are secrets. She is really considering I. So. 
And this senior guy did not even see me. They, they gave me another woman, doctor, who saw me. They did some nice things there. Uh, because of this, they stressed me. My pressure went up to 150. They said, Kwanza, wewe, you are in bad shape. I said, bad shape where? And they connected a big machine. They are reading all my organs. I said, me under these machines. I don't know what trick they played on me. I slept. No, no. They just massaged here with the, that thing that checks the baby. You know. They did that ultrasound thing. I tell you, the feeling was so sweet. I slept. <laughs> when I woke up, uh, yo, when is the service? So, they, they, oh, it's showing it's finished. So, they gave me some, whatever the test they said, I said, no, I'm not. You know, faith comes by hearing. Whose report will you believe? But I think they had a clue. They had an idea because those results were not very good, Dr. Onesmas. Uh, but they said strange things, but up to tomorrow, I've never gone back. No, I never went back. So, so I don't know what were the results. of it lakini as soon as I saw those mipiras, I got healed. And there's another time in 1996. I had been taken to the same Nairobi hospital. Can you work your EG, something, whatever. You know me, I was in a technical school, plumbing, metal work, carpentry. So I don't know biology. So I don't know those things. So when I saw those machines, I got healed. I decided I cannot. I never went for results. Anyway, I'm sorry, doctors. I'm sorry. That uh, I'm not very cooperative. Uh, <laughs> yeah? Let me just preach the gospel and heal the sick and cast out devils. But of course, uh, my wife is a herbalist. She cooks for me properly, nicely. I drink strange things. I tell you the truth. Uh, I'm very healthy. Glory to God. Congratulations. Amen. Somebody say beasts of Ephesus. So, in Ephesus, that region was also referred to as the Asia. There are so many things Paul faced. You know, even in Asia, adversaries. And I'm saying this because... I don't want to tell you it's going to be mighty. Huh? Open door. Huh? It's going to be wonderful. Huh? Wait. There are adversaries in 2024. Like these ones that Paul faced in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 8. Read this. For we do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, of our trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were burdened beyond measure, above strength, so that we despaired even of life. I'm praying for you that this coming here, you will not enter here, a level where you feel like you despair. But just in case something comes that stretches us to these levels, there is a solution. Because God's word has an answer for every situation. The next verse says, Yes, we heard the sentence of death in ourselves. And there's a reason for this. That we should not trust in ourselves. But in God. Who raises the dead. So it doesn't matter the level of pressure. We have a God who raises the dead. Look at the next verse 10. 
who delivered us from so great a death. This type of death was great, but good news, he delivered us. Get ready for deliverance. God will deliver you. Oh yes, whatever trap the enemy tries to bring against us in 2024, God will deliver us. In whom we trust that he will still deliver us. So he did it in the past. Paul is saying he still delivers us. This, that means in the past and in the present. Even now he is still delivering us. Kaya Bado Shazada. The next verse makes it even better. Goja, Rudi Kidogo. Who delivered us? Who does deliver us? And in whom we trust, he will still deliver us. In the past, in the present, and in the future. He delivered us and does deliver us. That's in the present. And we believe, we trust in him, he will still deliver us. Uh, so the future is taken care of. Oh yes. Oh yes. 2024's troubles are taken care of tonight. I say 2024 troubles are taken care of tonight through the ministry of deliverance. Hey. And look at some of the keys. The next verse. You also helping together in prayer for us. So praying for one another. Intercessors. Intercession. Go to the house of God for prayer. Because these kind of prayers, they are helping. That thanks may be given by many persons on our behalf for the gift granted to us through many. So many must be involved in this prayer operation in 2024 so that also as many as are helping us and hearing the news of the deliverance, many will give thanks to God. I want to be involved in that operation among the many that will be thanking God, that will be helping us in prayer, that will be seeing the move of God in Jesus' mighty name. When you hear the many, we talk about the flood of prayers. Glory to God. There are certain challenges we face and we need a flood of prayers. Amen. I see we're going to do more prayer in 2024. Amen. We we'll mobilize every MIT group, every ministry group, every team. There must be times of prayer at, diff at certain moments so that we can push back this kind of adversaries. Glory to God. Now, some of the adversaries are very technical. Go to 1 Peter 5.8. I'm still looking at the clock. Don't worry. By the way, one time I trained as a teacher. Yeah. TSC, what in Fundisha Kuwa Marimu. I did philosophy education, lesson plans, a lot of stuff. And I taught one term only, three months. In Kirinyaga Technical Institute, I taught commerce. Hey, the things we have done in the media of preaching the gospel. But I never went back. Then they posted me to go and teach in Ukai, Ukai Institute. It's almost like I. Ukai is now the Eastern something university in Ukambani, UK. I still have the letter. I never reported because I told myself, how can I be doing missions in the nation in the middle of Kitui? I need to stay in Nairobi because I can go in many directions. So I refused the appointment. Because an effectual door had opened for me a door of faith to preach the gospel. Yeah. So, Nigakua Marimu at TSC, Nigakua Principal Alliance. No, no, no. I was out in high school, technical schools. Kenya Poly. Maybe I'll be teaching in the technical university. Anyway, I remember those moments. I don't know how I would be teaching. I was coming on Monday with red eyes because Lukua Challenge Weekend Jana. And eight students got saved. And so, Monday with one eye, hey, full of the anointing. Blackboard. Hey. Be sober. Tell your neighbor, be sober. Join a vigilante group. Not Mungiki. Join a vigilante group. Be vigilant. Because of who? 
your adversary what is the name of this adversary the devil what is he doing walking about like a lowering lion seeking whom he may devour ah so he's looking for somebody in the menu he's looking for something to eat i pray your name is not going to be in the menu at the table of the devil ambia mwanza kwa hautakuliwa mwaka huu jao na shaitani ama watu wake no wasting disease on your life praise god but this adversary the greek word i've shared it in one of my books called uh what is the name of this book well i shared this verse um something on strong oh, i can't remember yeah are you standing or stumbling that book you need to get it at the bookshop are you standing or stumbling stumbling this adversary in the greek is antidikos an antidikos is a legal opponent in a court of law can you imagine the devil is a lawyer so you need to be vigilant because the kind of adversary we facing in 2024 is somebody with files about your case he has done research he has 3000 pages you remember heg in heg you would hear lawyer say uh, our response is 3000 pages so go to page 2700 paragraph d hey. So if the enemy has my story 3000 pages unless I have Parakletos Antidikos versus Parakletos Pole those who are not part of the apostolic house those are strange names Parakletos is actually the Greek word for helper comforter holy spirit advocate So if the devil comes as a as a lawyer the holy spirit and jesus will come as an advocate two advocates jesus and the holy ghost in that court of law one drop of the blood of jesus will rub the handwriting that is written by the devil against you and all the story of your past will be dismissed with the costs hey. when we were establishing let me tell you this story before we stand up When we were establishing the apostolic prophetic ministry in Nairobi and we were saying the church is not just about a pastor there are four others apostles prophets evangelists uh, and teachers and so the fivefold and we were saying apostles are coming prophets are coming they will join the evangelists and the pastors and so we were telling believers threatening them if you are only surviving under a pastor you are only experiencing one of a five 20% of the grace that god has for you there are other fivefold ministers and who are teaching these things and so forth and so forth and we were arrogant a little bit we were also young but we did the best we were foolish but god still moved and we really thought how god was going to shake everything now the general church opposed our teaching and they said we are cultic yeah even some of these main denominations in the pentecostals they refused the message but i'm surprised after 25 years now they have apostles among them so anyway what i'm telling you the story is because some of them canceled my meetings they say this man is dangerous how am i dangerous and you are here anyway they said we should not go to preach in the meetings then after a while we prayed to break the accusations and after we did that i had a dream this is why i'm telling you and the dream i was shown that our case was taken in the uh, appeal court that time kenya did not have supreme court so the highest court was appeal court and then i was shown in the spirit i heard in the in the court the case against me and against us was dismissed and was dismissed with costs and then i heard a voice saying those who are opposing us will have to pay a price to get me to speak to them Yeah. Although I don't charge. I had a group of pastors who came and asked me, "Man of God, we want you in our area. Come and do a major whatever. What are your terms? What do you want us to kaya?" I said, "No, for me, don't do nothing. I'll come with my fuel. 
in our team and so forth. I don't charge anything. I will preach to you free of charge. But in case you want to greet me in a Pentecostal way. Some of you don't understand that kind of greeting. Able stand up on your feet, somebody. I see we have two and a half minutes. Oh my God, you are about to close the year. Hey. Shando Kazaya. All the people from Jericho stand up and the people from Mai. Hallelujah. Simukuja hapa wapendo. Oh my God, to help us to close 2023 and enter 2024 is such an honor. Do you appreciate the God is giving some of you will have to celebrate a new birthday yes, amen. like Asunta's birthday is the next three days yes. we will be January January 3 we will be January yes but we will be when she was seven months, she was immature. <laughs> premature. No, no, no. What is the actual word? Premature. Oh, premature. I'm a miss biology. She's a survivor, this one. Amen. Mutoto wa miezi saba. Amen. Ni miezi saba. 28 weeks. Nandiyo huyo ati ana dance up. Uliacha utukufu wako Ukaishi kati yetu kwa mapenzi Ulipatwa na simanzi Ulinifia wastahi We are going to celebrate five, four, three, two, one, zero, 2024. 
of God, celebrating, praying, thanking God, rejoicing, praising the Lord. You have been good. Thank you for the new year. Thank you for the new year. Thank you for the new year. Thank you for the new year, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to see this moment. Thank you, my God. Okapura Zaroba Zagatera Baropara Zagatereza Zagatora Bagotosha Leseria Bada. Somebody pray the Holy Ghost. Jehovah has been good for you. Jehovah has been good to us. Jehovah, you have been good to me. Jehovah, you have been good to my family. Jehovah, you have been good to the church. You have been good to the nation. You have been good to us. We give you the praise. Ara Pakotosa, Zagetesia, Sarosaria, 2024. 2024 is here. 2024, by the grace of God. Oh God, even to not you, we will not be here. Oh my God, even though not you, this year will not be alive. But we praise you. I praise you. I thank you. Somebody pray in this transition. Oh my God. Now Ale, I'm for TV. Na social media. Ah, Obeni. Musifu Kwana. Patie Shukrani. Zakete Riazada. Pato Sarabada. Shegegegeteza. Paraze Peria. Shatora Ziabada. Akato Sata. Tuakushukuru Ewe Kwana. We say thank you, my God. We say thank you, Heavenly Father. We praise you, my God. Era Padia Tata. Father. Oh, Sarindada, you are surely our Father. Jesus, you are surely our Savior. Holy Ghost, you brought us this far. We praise you. Daro Zataria, Pakato Zaraba, Segete Jazata, Pakopo Razia, Chato Razia Pata. Oh, my Father. Ah, Zadoria Gataya. Yeah. Take your time and give your life to the Lord one more time. Tell him I dedicate myself to you, Lord. I surrender to you, Jesus. I give you my life. This 2024, I will serve you, Lord. I will do whatever it takes, Father. Give me your grace. I will serve you this year. I will do my best this year, Lord. Oh, my God. I had failures last year. Lord, you have given us a new chance. You've given us a new moment. Bokoko Sariba Taya, Jezeteria Batiyadaha, Zikete Shiazataya. Lord, thank you. My life is not dear to myself. I give it away to you, Lord. Oh, Saparia Bada. I give you my talents. I give you my gifts. I give you my life. My all in all, God. Have your way, Jesus. Take over. Take it up, oh God. I give you my everything. This year, Jehovah, you are God and God alone. Seated on the throne. Yeah, Sariabata. Thank you, my God. Ah, Wale. Ambamu Kokule Inji. Ambamu Natufuata. Toa Maishaku wa Yesu. Chipeane. Ah, Wacha Kwana Chukuli. Maishayako. Tell him, Lord, take over. Lord, take it up. Zegeta Shaziata. Bakoto Siabada. Zegete Shazitaba. Zegete Shaziaba. Oh, Shatari Abadu. Yepepe Saraba. Zagere Zaya. Wengine. Wanapu Aribu Maishayao. Since it was Jikabibi. Twajitoa Kwako. When others are messing up, we say, God, not unto us. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you our lives. We surrender all. Lord Jesus, you have done it. You've done it for us. Take the praise. Take the glory. You've done it for me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Kapataya.
Oh Lord. Now just make one prayer to God. Whatever you want to tell the Lord, just tell him. Whatever you want to ask from God, just ask him. Solomon asked for wisdom. Oh yes, ask for something. Say, Lord, I've given you my life, but now I ask you for this and that. Ask, ask, ask. Uliza kitu. Wabwana, omba. Badaya Dahila Omba Omba Utafute Uso Abwana Aonae Kwa Sili Ata Kujibu Kwa Wazi Omba Happy New Year, as many people as you can. Somebody, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, several people. Happy New Year, come on.
give the Lord one praise song this morning in the presence of the Lord.
Look at this verse in Psalms 105, no, no, 107, verse 12, 13, and 14. Therefore, he brought down their heart with labor, they fell down, and there was no one to help. Next verse. Then they cried unto out to the Lord in their trouble, and something happened. What happened? He saved them out of their distress. The next verse. He brought them out of darkness, and the shadow of death broke their chains in pieces. Two more verses. Fifteen. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for His goodness. Or his wondrous works to the children of men. Let's look at those works. Read out in law. For he has broken the gate of bronze and cut the pass of iron in two. This is an open door. He's breaking the gates of bronze. In Psalms 45, verse 1 and 2, the Bible says, as not some sorry, Isaiah, Isaiah 45, verse 1 and 2, the anointing on Cyrus, whose light hand I have held to subdue nations before him, and to lose the arm of kings, and to do what? To open before him the double doors so that the gates will not be shut this side has anointed oh my god i pray through this next song that the anointing to break through be released upon us from this hour in the mighty name of jesus glory to god and then when he opens the double doors of babylon then he will go before us you make crooked places straight in 2024 Amen. even break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the paths of iron glory to god 
Nainua, yo pembe. Let's sing that. O stanza, or so. I want you to believe God. That is a special anointing. Hey. anointing in this house and we make a declaration receive the anointing Amen. if your heart is open you will discover from now you will do unusual things Amen. I have seen this kind of anointing I can tell you in the last part of 2023 in the last quarter of 2023 I saw unusual anointing through me in places I went when I went to the US when I went to different places I have begun to see an amazing anointing even when we went to Narok a while ago some men who are next to me just one meter could stand they were just crying and shaking I didn't notice but there was virtue anointing and power Amen. and so I want to pray for you that the beginning of this year now something special falls upon you Amen. and you can go in the grace of God Amen. but before then let me make this prayer father I just thank you for everybody here tonight I thank you for the presence of your Holy Spirit Jesus, I thank you that you are here in this house. I thank you that you are in this place to do wonders. Take the praise and take the glory. This is why, Lord Jesus, you died on the cross. You shed your blood. And through the work of the cross, we got salvation. The Bible says, whoever believes will not be put to shame. Lord, I pray for men and women that have come into this crossover. Those that are not saved, Lord. Those that don't have a relationship, a personal relationship with you, that they will begin a new journey of salvation. I pray for somebody who, whose life is in a mess. But I'm glad they're in the church tonight. I pray, God, anybody who turned back and backslid, began to be defeated by sin and death and devils and 
all manner of vices and bad character. I pray God that such men and women will return to Christ at the beginning of this year. Thank you for the anointing here right now. Lord, you are the one who knows who is who where. You are the one who knows what kind of life they are living. Everybody bow your head. I want to ask this question as you stand in the presence of Jesus. If you know you don't have a relationship with Christ and you're, you're not born again. Or you used to be but you lost it. And today you are just a general religious person who goes to church. But you know if Jesus came tonight you wouldn't go anywhere. Because your life is not okay with God. I want to give you an opportunity at the beginning of the year to say yes to Jesus. And say my life. Even those who are watching on TV and the social media, wherever you are, if you know that you need Jesus Christ, I'm going to pray with you right now. We'll ask the Lord to come into your heart and you'll be saved. You'll be forgiven. You'll have a new beginning. You'll have a relationship with Christ. And as you face your year, you face your year with God. No matter the adversaries you may face, you know with God, you are more than a conqueror. Even in that prayer of salvation, or restoration and coming back to God because you had lost it. In that first time, you've never given your life to Christ. Or you are coming back to Jesus. I want to pray with you. Those in the house, I will ask you wherever you are standing to lift up your hand to God. Let God see that hand. I will also see the hand and I'll pray for you. Thank you. You are saying, I need Jesus to save me, to forgive me, to wash me with his blood. Keep your hand up. Thank you. Several of you have lifted up your hands. Thank you. Keep your hand up. You're saying this 2024. I want to surrender my life to Christ. I don't want to be back in darkness. I want to know that I know that I know that Jesus Christ is Lord. I'm glad for those who have lifted up your hand, young people and older people. Jesus Christ is Lord right now. I want to pray with you this prayer and I want you to pray out and loud wherever you are and then I'm going to give you a booklet after this. Can you pray this prayer together with those on TV? Thank you for the many hands of those that are lifted up right here, right now. Wherever you are standing, pray this prayer with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus Christ. Help them somebody. Pray one more time. Dear Lord Jesus Christ. I open up my heart to you. I have heard the good message that you have a future for me. You have an open door for me. Now I hear you knocking into my heart. I open up my heart to you, Jesus. I ask you to forgive me all my sins. Heal my backsliding. I now surrender my life to you. I confess, Jesus, you are the Son of God. You died for me. You are buried. After three days you rose from the dead. Right now you are alive. Be alive in me. Now I confess with my mouth. You are my Lord and my Savior. And I will never go back to Satan. In Jesus name I pray. Up your hands, somebody. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. All those that have lifted up your hand and you prayed that prayer with me, I want you to come down to get this book uh, from my hand right now. Just walk, just come. You that have given your love to Jesus, come, come quickly. I want to give you this book. God bless you. Come, come that way. Pastor Gigi, get some books there. Gigi, quickly keep them over there. This one. Keep them over there. Come on, come down and get a book. And go, before you go back, before you go back, just stand there, just stand there. Come down and get a book. God bless you. Let's celebrate these wonderful people. Oh yeah, it's a joy to have you receive Jesus. Glory to God in the highest. Let me have quickly ushers to help us. There's a page at the end of that book. I wanted to give us.
your details is a decision card so all of you ministers who are there quickly get them pens get them pens quickly get them pens help them can we celebrate these wonderful people somebody somebody shout hallelujah now those of you who are online can you send a text on those numbers or do send us an inbox on uh, on Facebook and give us your names and telephone number we'll contact you uh, and send you an ebook an ebook we have this as an ebook is called new believer now that you are saved seven things uh, the you can do we have printed thousands of these books over the years and this is for uh, from 2008 uh, 2019 another edition 2021 2022 we had 3,000 books that got finished we have these new ones is a joy that everybody can get a copy who is giving their life to Christ and having a new beginning amen are you happy yes. glory to God in the highest now after that I'm gonna now release the anointing amen, amen. and after that we'll have a moment to worship God with our substances and we believe God this anointing is a divine enablement can you change my mic? give me the other mic if you put a battery just give it to me god bless you uh is a divine enablement to help you walk and live for jesus hallelujah glory to god now business people we will pray for you may you do business by the anointing Amen. may have the may you have the breaker anointing glory to god now in angina murichoka mukakachini sisi bado tumesimama hata miguu karibu yume lakini bado tumesimama simamia Yesu Mungu akubariki sana najua ukikaa uki, uki chini unaweza unaweza lala Praise God Almighty Thank you Holy Ghost Zata palosha zaya Kaya bada hasha Put Matthew 25 verse 15 Congratulations for getting saved. Wow, wonderful daughters of Zion. Wow. We should baptize you with much water. You know, you have a new beginning, right? We should also teach you the word of God. So Sundays, we are here 8 in the morning to 10.30 for first service. Then our second service, 11 to 1 o'clock. So you can choose which service, okay? This coming Sunday... We will see you in the house of God. And all those brothers on the other end, uh, you're welcome to the church. This is going to be your church. Now that you're near, I greet you. God bless you. Congratulations. Congratulations for giving your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. The God in the highest. Amen. Amen. Ah, Jesus. Stretch your hand to heaven and ask the Lord for, a, for an anointing. The Bible says, that when he gave five talents and two talents and he gave one talent the bible says in verse 15 go back to verse 15 as we are declaring this prayer he gave to each according to his own ability the word ability is a word dunamis which is a word for miraculous power so working out your talents working out with your skills in your business you need dunamis this is miraculous power. In other words, you shall work out your gifts and your work and operations by the anointing. Hey, Kapado Shazatari Abada. Lord Jesus Christ, oh, you told me many years ago that you have delivered something to me. Now I capture it in the spirit. Lord, release this anointing. Bagato Shazada. In this atmosphere for 2024, I activate this anointing, O God, divine ability, miraculous power, is dunamis. And I want to give it to the people. I want to declare it, O God, by faith right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I release this dunamis the miraculous power the anointing of the Holy Spirit to every 
everybody under the sound of my voice even online even on television in the mighty name of Jesus men and brethren brothers and sisters wherever you are in your heart in your spirit in your life right now oh my God receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost take it take it take it now now take it Rapaya Parosa Take it, take it Shato, Shato Take it, take it Power, power Take it Shapaya Zegexala Receive it online Take it Shabara Power of the Holy Ghost Go and do wonders Go and do business Go and preach Go and serve the Lord Go and worship God Go and live for Jesus by the Holy Ghost you are not alone you are not alone you are no longer alone you are empowered come on receive it anointing for worship anointing for ministry anointing for leadership anointing for life oh Zapaya Bada you anointed my head with oil my cup runs over your cup will run over your cup will run over because of the anointing the cup will run over because of the anointing hey believe it believe it believe it receive it receive it speak it declare it announce it let the devil know you are anointed as a family as a church as a people as a husband as a wife as a young man as a single young woman oh sapaya as a mother as a father hey shataya may the same anointing come on your children We receive by faith. Hey. We change the narrative that business is hard. From now onwards, you are doing your marketplace assignment by the anointing. Your case is different. Your case is different. Your case is different. And now I declare this is a year of the open door. In Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Wow, praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Let's respond in giving right now. Can you imagine your first offering in 2024? Sit down. God bless you, worshipers. In 2024, give me my phone. In 2024, this is your first offering and this way we're going to believe God that the Lord will provide unusual offerings to you, unusual provision, glory to God. Some of you will uh, determine as you pay your tithe in 2024, he will open windows of heaven. That's what the Bible says, windows of heaven. That means you will have revelation on what you need to do. That's what windows of heaven are. Amen. So if you are giving by Mpesa, we have uh, the number, the teal number, by goods. It's nothing we're selling. It's just a tool, 5727672. Those who are online, uh, send your New Year offering to the Apostolic House uh, or Elevate TV, wherever you're watching and there are numbers on the screen there. This is a blessing. Happy New Year. 
to be able to bring our offerings in the presence of the Lord. Glory to God in the highest. Somebody say hallelujah. So, uh, that's good. Amen. Glory to God. You know, if you are giving a certain amount of money last year, determine this year, you will give at the next level. Hallelujah. Give willingly, no pressure, you are mature. Uh, if you want to use an envelope, because some of you want to give what we call maybe fast fruit. You know, the fast is, is a kind of an offering, you say, is a thanksgiving in advance to declare the rest of the harvest in the year is blessed. So if you need an envelope, lift your hand, you get an envelope. Maybe you want to give a special offering or you want to pay your tithe. Uh, fast things fast. One of the ways money becomes a blessing and offering is fast things fast. God being number one, God being fast. Amen. And by the way, Ashes, did we finish the calendars for 2024? You can look for them and place the balance of the calendars on both ends, just in case there are visitors here who need a calendar for 2024, we'll give you a blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. So uh, I want us to, to pray for the offering and believe God that uh, it shall be well. Hallelujah. All right, you're going to lift your phone or lift your envelope or lift your money or lift uh, whichever form you are giving okay lift up your offering to god father god this is our first offering in 2024 we bring it in your presence as part of our worship we declare this year is going to be different financially and we declare lord you are a provider you're such an amazing god this year will be different we will not struggle we'll enjoy and obediently keep giving sowing expecting a major harvest we thank you lord I declare you receive the offerings of your people tonight and Lord let them come to you as a sweet smelling aroma. May you also give a response to every giver in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Pass the bags to uh, the people everywhere so that you take one or two moments to give in the presence of the Lord. Somebody say amen. Glory to God. Well, it's going to be an amazing 2024. Uh, we'll make a couple of announcements uh, and make a little change. Uh, for the morning glories and lunch hours, we'll not begin on 3rd, but on 8th. So, the office staff here in the Apostolic House comes back to work on 3rd. 3rd, uh, which is, I think, Wednesday, is when we're going to open the office. Uh, I'm sure they will, they're going to have a lot of preparations, but the morning glories lunch hours begin on Monday 8th, so that we allow a few preparations. Now, but uh, our holy convocation, nine days of open door convocation, is going to start on the 6th, which is a Saturday. Now, Saturday 6th, we'll do what we call tarrying in his presence. That means we come to the house of God here, 9 in the morning for prayer. When it gets to 1 o'clock, we'll begin to minister up to 4 o'clock. We'll do specific prayers. That same day, on the 6th, we'll begin our corporate prayer and fasting. On the 6th, we're going to do it 9 days. We'll be praying between 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. of fasting. Now, we do this to reach out to the young ones, to those who haven't been able to practice fasting, that are still trying to come to the open door because we want them to be involved. But you as an individual consider that you have a great year before you and also come up with your own personal times of prayer and fasting. Are we together? 
You can do 40 days, you can do 14, 21, you can do 3 days, you can do 1 day, whatever you want to do, that will be great. But between 6th and 14th, we'll be concentrating and lifting life church to God. The good news is, prayer, not only is it answered to the ones who are praying, but prayer changes the one praying. Are we together? And so, even as we pray for the church, your lives will not remain the same. Is that clear? We'll be meeting every day from 6th to 14th. So, on Sunday 7th, we'll have two services. 8 to 10, that is the first service, and the second service, 11 to 1, uh, because I know most people will be back. And then, Monday, we'll continue with the morning glory, lunch, and evening. We are meeting every evening, that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday 14th, we continue with the tiring in his presence and also 9 to 4 o'clock. And then Sunday 14th will be our last day, uh, the two services, and that will be a blessing. Glory to God. Is that program clear? We have a man of God, Apostle Jesse Karanja from Mispa TV in Nakuru. The Mispa Prayer Center is our friend. He's the early 90s and he's going to be here ministering alongside me. We're looking forward for a great nine days convocation. Hallelujah. Why we give you the word is for this reason. In Acts chapter 2 verse 42, the early church, the Jerusalem church established a foundation. What was the foundation in Acts chapter 2 verse 42? The Bible says, and they gave, they continually, and they continued steadfastly in four things. What was the first thing? Apostles doctrine number two. Fellowship number three, breaking of bread. Number four, prayers. Now, in the principle of first mention, prayer is number four. Why is it number four? So that when you are praying, you are praying when you have already understood the word of God. You don't just pray and throw yourself into fasting without a word from God because you beat the air or you face demonic challenges in the spirit and you end up in more trouble than before. That's why I personally believe we established the apostolic pattern. We are teaching you the word of God. Then you can pray. Do you understand? You hear the word of the Lord for the year. Then you can go and pray. Amen. But we'll do that as we continue with the ministry. And seeking the face of God. Amen. We expect great things for Elevate Television this 2024. We expect great things for the life center we are building for the Malak Mission Hospital in Siokimau. We expect great things for our Lozi Christian School here in Kasarani. We are expecting great things for uh, Gospelite College and the schools we are opening in different places of the country. We are expecting great things for Gospelite Ministries as we do high school and institutional ministry for challenge weekends and uh, services and rallies. We're looking forward for great things that this year you're going to invest in Apostolos Sacco. You have been promising yourself you have a January and a time for a new beginning. Somebody say amen. That Sacco is open to all of you. Let's build so that one day it can become a bank. Hallelujah. All the programs of the year, we're going to be praying for them. We're going to be trusting God. We thank God for our pastors and our leaders and their families, the elders, the associate ministers, the deacons. We thank God for the estate fellowship coordinators. We thank God for youth leaders and the youth pastors. We thank God for all leaders of different ministries, the worship team, the choir. We thank God for the evangelism team, the empower now. On all those ministries, this year is going to be amazing. You will be involved. We thank God for the children ministry, the Sunday schools, and the teens ministry. We thank God for the women ministry. Oh my God, we, we have the conferences for 2024. We have the men conference coming in, in March, the women of power in April, amen. And we introduce the RR camp, the radical remnant camp for youth and teens. I know in the calendar, the the minister for education confused us with the holidays so it was showing first week of may but the, it has come back to april 18th 19th 20th 
will make the announcements through the flyers. We look forward for the Standing Strong Ministers Conference in July for leaders, ETC. Amen? All right. Now I want to let this great crossover come to a close, and then you can begin your sleep and your prayers, wherever you want to do that, here or elsewhere. Amen. Tumeanza mwaka wa tujanza. Stand up on your feet as we bring this to a close. Musijari, Nairobi Meja. Walevi, ni wewe tu soba. Tell your neighbor you are the only soba person. Stretch your hand. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I declare you enjoy this year whether the devil likes it or not. For a great and effective door is open to you. And there are many adversaries but God prepares a table for you. In the presence of your enemies. He anoints your head with oil. Your cup will run over. You are blessed for life. In Jesus mighty name we declare. Amen. God's people say amen. amen. All right, share the words of grace with somebody. Tell them amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the love of God. Fellowship of the Holy Spirit. You did not from Tell them and I wish above all things that you may enjoy the new year that you may be in good health you may prosper as you are so prosperous and surely goodness and mercy and money and favor follow you the rest of this year good morning and God bless you